Good morning, and thank you for joining us today, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time. So we've been checking out some Dutch videos. We just checked out some about manipulating the water, and now we're going to dive into something a little bit different. This was recommended by one of you in the comments, and it is Dutch Children Deemed the Happiest in the World by UNICEF. I don't know what that is, but let's dive into it. The most recent UNICEF study of well-being found that of the 29 UNICEF. wealthiest industrialized countries in the world, children in the Netherlands are the happiest. The United States is near the bottom of that list. So what do Dutch parents know that we don't? The authors of the book The Happiest Kids in the World shared their secrets with NBC's Keir Simmons. Rina Meyer Costa lives in the Netherlands with her family. It's a far cry from the hectic pace of many families back home. I'm not Dutch at all. Actually, I'm Filipino-American from the San Francisco Bay Area. And then I ended up falling in love with a Dutch guy. <laughs> and now I'm here. <laughs> when she became a parent, Rina was struck by the differences in Dutch family life compared with her pressurized childhood in the States, impressed by how independent and, above all, happy Dutch children seem. In the latest UNICEF study of well-being, Dutch children came out as the happiest out of 29 of the world's richest industrialized countries. America came 26th. Rina and her friend Michelle Hutchinson, a fellow expat also married to a Dutch man, decided to dig in and explore what exactly is producing such contented kids. First, wait, is that chocolate? Children even get to eat chocolate for breakfast. For breakfast. <laughs> Not only children, adults too. It's all about moderation. Independence and outside play are a near religion for Dutch parents, and nowhere is this more apparent and their love of biking. They bike everywhere. See, that's what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Family biking. As soon as I moved here, my husband got me a bike and he made me cycle on it in all weathers. And children are brought up with that. Once they get to school, Dutch kids are also excelling there. That same report put the Netherlands at the top in educational achievement and participation. That high score might be surprising to American parents, given that students in the Netherlands aren't pushed to read and write at an early age and don't even start to get regular homework until their early teens. I don't have ho homework. I have no homework. We want them to be uh, motivated. The motivation is, is more important than to push, push and put pressure on them. Back in the US, child developmental psychologist Catherine Tamis Lamonda says that the Dutch are on the right track. A huge number of studies show that our motivation, children's motivation to do things, to be engaged, to learn about their world, goes up when they make choices about what to do. Do you want to get some flowers? Seems like there are other factors too. On average, they work a 29 hour week here, and they have something called a mama or papa dag which roughly translates as a day for mom or dad to spend with the children. Laura Van Gulik balances not just her kids on a bike, but also an intense career as an anesthesiologist with family time by taking Wednesdays off. Have you sacrificed your career to be able to do this? No, I don't feel I've sacrificed it, and I'm still doing my job in, in a very high level. Do you think that this can really translate to if you're a parent back home in the US? I think most definitely it can translate. I think that there's a lot of things that American parents can learn from the Dutch. Rina and Michelle's top tips to going Dutch are let children be independent, keep school low pressure, enjoy relaxed family time. And, of course, don't forget about those chocolate sprinkles. For today, Keir Simmons, NBC News, the Netherlands. Aha, it's the chocolate sprinkles. Here, thank you. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Yeah. What do you think? I've always thought that like low pressure settings in schools are so much better for learning. I mean, like you let kids figure out things themselves, and the more you try to help a toddler do stuff, the more that they don't learn. It makes mm -hmm. sense. 
I had high pressure when I was in elementary school and stuff. We had a lot of homework. Yeah. And I don't really remember in my elementary school. <laughs> and I turned out fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, thank you for joining and thank you for recommending this video. Um, check out the channel for more Netherlands reactions or let us know where you're from and what we should check out from your country. And we'll see you next time. Hey there, and thank you for tuning in today. I started the Localia project for my passion of connections, community, and culture. I don't know where exactly we're gonna take this channel yet, um, but I'd love to find out together. If you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe. You can also go to patreon.com backslash Localia, where you can get full length vlogs, behind the scenes, deleted scenes, and you can even have a say in what videos we do next. Thank you so much.